What we're talking about is again more grooming of the land and just discussing that those that tree over there, that banana tree, like that could be a John Nut versus the banana tree, Petzilla versus the banana tree, Tarot Sam, Norbert versus the banana tree. That one can go. The other ones I think are fantastic. And what we were just saying is that the view, the horizon, we thought that it was a lot smaller before. The V that we have that cuts down into the jungle, as you can see, you got that Superman sign that goes out there, the horizon's the top of it, and it's got the V. Now, again, with the tall grass that we had that was kind of crappy, I personally don't think it was that good a view. And now what we're seeing is once the grass is in there and you'll be able to go out to the horizon, it's like we're basically making a garden that's an infinity pool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, that's the point, mm. right? So that it has, that nature of that you could step off in and either fall off into the jungle and or fall off into the ocean. Should we call it jungle viewpoint? We have we have people stopping here every GBD. day thinking it's the viewpoint. Yeah. Because first time tourists haven't made it all the way up to the viewpoint. They want to see the famous Karam viewpoint. Yes. They come here, turn in and take pictures. So why not call it? jungle viewpoint right and just steal away from Quran viewpoint <laughs> it's not a bad idea no. I think it, that, that's what it should be even if we call it jungle but we can put viewpoint under it's not illegal it's a, view, it's a no. viewpoint right it's a fact correct right? dude that's a might be a great idea yeah. so I still think business wise again it's just gonna be called the jungle mm -hmm. I ha already have it being set up but we, so, but we write viewpoint underneath, underneath it Right, and that can be the sign that goes there. Yeah. And then all the little clubs are all, still the all, same all thing. All the tourists renting a motorbike, driving up to the view. They'll point. see they jungle viewpoint. They will end up here and they won't go further. Sure, this is a great idea. Yeah. This is a wonderful idea. Um, but this is the same thing. On the stationary, the jungle, yeah. right? Yeah. The clubs that are set up here. Norbert, don't you want to do comedy? Yeah, surely. You want to do comedy? Yeah. Right. I don't, so, for the record, <laughs> right. I don't. But so jungle CC. I want ma magicians here. Right. Magician. Uh, but, and fakirs. But check it out. With CC right there, and let's just go on it, because you you know we both thought about it. If you say, so this is the jungle viewpoint, and it's up on that sign, but we have information for the jungle CC in there. When somebody says, like, what is the jungle CC? It's like, oh, it's the jungle comedy club. That's what Norbert says. Yeah. Oh, it's the jungle croquet club. That's what I say. Oh, it's the Jungle Cultural Center. Yeah. That's when we have Thai dancing or a wedding, mm. right? Oh, it's the, you know, you understand. There are so many different things that can go in there that I think that, uh, but man, I like that idea of calling it the Jungle Viewpoint. I especially like it because I really do think that once we Google Maps that dot, it will like, yeah, sure, that's Koran Viewpoint, but they even but got it wrong. It's not even Koran. For, so so yeah. for foreigners, when we go up to the Koran viewpoint, we're like, yeah, it is a viewpoint of Koran, yeah. but it's also a viewpoint of Kata. Why isn't it called the Kata viewpoint? When it's in Kata, that's why it fucking makes sense to be called the Kata viewpoint. So I actually really, really agree with you. Do we also have a wider viewpoint than they do? I think we do. Like if you go up there, you can you have to get out off the bike, get off the car, out of the car and walk around. We will steal like everybody going to Quran viewpoint that comes from Kata. Maybe we know you saw the picture from up there mm. from the roof. Maybe we have to build a tower and you can go up and you can actually see the I don't know if you can see the beaches from here, but from the viewpoint you can see Kata Karon, Kata Noi, Kata, and Karon. And then into Patong. Yes. And all the way to Patong. All the way to Patong. We're, we're not really beating that. But. No, we're not beating that, but it's not a but competition. Here, here you see the jungle. Yeah. It's, it's gonna, just gonna be much more beautiful. Yes, it will. And put a couple of tents here sometimes, have the kids fall off the I, I told him that uh, for the younger generation, and just see if you agree with me on this, Norbert. When I had to play, when I was a member of the Beverly Hills Croquet Club in Beverly Hills, California, because I'm posh, hey yo, uh, we had to play in whites. So it was every Tuesday morning and Thursday morning and you had to wear uniform. It was a white collared shirt and white pants or white shorts, right? You then had to either wear flip flops or, or shoes. Can you imagine if we did like the Jungle Croquet Club, referred to it as the Beverly Hills Croquet Club, this flat long, you, me, Jonas, and say Luke are all playing at 5.30 to 7.30, that's like our time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we're just wearing white and playing croquet here. Don't you think some people are gonna stop to just take pictures of us? Cause they think we were fucking weird. Like look at the, 
aliens playing this weird old British, like, you know what I mean? Hey, look at that small Burmese guy out there in all whites playing an old British game. Do you know what I mean? Like you might be able to go viral for just being so like one in a million. Can you tell me how many Burmese kids your age are fucking playing croquet? No. Nah. Not yeah. many. Not many. The uniqueness factor makes you an interesting man. And being an interesting man leads to interesting stories, which leads to a better life. You get that? Check that one off. Maybe I, again, begin to look at influencers like you. Yes, you could be. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you could be an influencer that goes out and does, like, I just influence in general, not even yeah. viral. You know what I mean? I don't even have a blue check. You know that already because yeah. you're trying to help me. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so I don't need the blue check. I influence, but you then can go and spread the love for further generations, right? And that's the point. Legacy doesn't matter. It's a, it's a farce. It's a farce. Live in the now. Live in the now, Norbit. Live in the now. All right. But then again, look at this. Right now, it's a blue point. Yeah. It's not a viewpoint. It's a blue point. Look at the blue sea and the blue. John uh, for, 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 for Full Metal Dojo. Did you like the content? Do you want more of it? It's for, 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 for Full Metal content. Subscribe below, mother lovers, and be a part of the Full Metal lifestyle.